Final Fantasy Gathering is a sure and easy way to fill those pockets full of gil, but like everything else, you gotta level up to do anything with it. And unfortunately, just mining, flower picking and fishing random ponds isn't going to get you there before the next expansion, or by the time the sun dies and life as we know it ends, as Extinction got you motivated. Besides the long, daunting task of just gathering from level 1 to 90, it's actually quite easy and quick to level to 90. This works for Miner, Botanist and Fisher, and it's how I've been doing it. It's also kept my pockets jingling with gill along the way. However, after I hit 90 on my Fisher, I discovered a hell of a fast way to level fishing, which we'll go over at the end, but for now, this method will cover all your gathering jobs. A quick disclaimer though, do your MSQ to effectively level your gatherers, as well as jobs in general, because you are required to have done certain MSQ quests to progress with other systems, unlocks and blue quests in general. Without further ado, welcome to the video. I'm Dying Legacy, and you're broke, incredibly self-inefficient, and in need of leveling your gathering jobs, aka your disciple of the land jobs, so let's remedy that now. First things first, if not completely obvious and mandatory for this, you need to unlock the mining job, botanist job, and fishing job first. You don't need to get all three of them, you could just pick up the one you want, but yeah, at this moment in time, just grab all three. You'll first need to reach and complete the level 10 quests of the first job you picked to unlock the ability to unlock other jobs. For the miner, you'll head to Old Dawn, visit the Miner's Guild, and talk to the receptionist Lynette to start the quest. Way of the Miner, to unlock the miner job. The botanist can be unlocked by heading over to Gridania and visiting the Botanist Guild. When there, speak to Lian Sot to undertake the quest. Way of the Botanist, to unlock the botanist. And finally, to become a fisher, head over to the lower decks of Limsa Luminsa and have a chat with with not in a month of Sundays am I pronouncing that I, I'm not even going to try but you know talk to this last to get the quest way of the fisher once we've unlocked our jobs it's time to level them which is the point of this video so well done for keeping up your first milestone is level 1 to 10 and the quickest way to do this is to just go out into the wild and gather nodes or fish in water and do your job quests once you've hit level 10, your next milestone is level 10 to 60, and you have two paths to go down for this, and it depends solely on if you have finished Heaven's Ward and unlocked the Diadem through the Ishgardian Restoration. In my own opinion, it's easier to wait until then, play the game, do the MSQ, and come back to it. However, and I 100% understand and agree because I too have no patience whatsoever, and I want to hit max level now. So if you do decide to say fuck that, I want to start now, in which case, leave quests are your best bet. However, keep in mind, leave quests are limited and you can't begin them until you're level 20. As I said, they are limited, you only get so many leave quests. They can build up over time from not using them, you get 3 leave quests every 12 hours, up to a max of 100, so you can't really rely on them to level all your gatherers from 1 to 60 in a single sitting. But if you're looking to just pick away at the leveling process on your own off time, then they're not that bad of a choice. You will need to keep on top of your gear for your gatherers along the way to be able to do the leave quests effectively or gather from the wild when gathering nodes at your gatherer's level. To actually do a leave quest, accept the highest level leave quest you can do from a leave mate, open the quest in your journal, it will show you exactly where to go on the map with a green circle, get to the green circle, mining and botany work the same, stand in the circle and in your quest journal, click initiate. It's between map and abandon at the bottom of the leave quest summary. Do the quest and when you're finished, it'll give you the option to port straight back to the nearest town. So you know you have done it. Fishing however is a case of just showing up to the circle with the correct bait equipped and just fishing or spear fishing in the radius of the circle. They all end the same way though, get what you need, hand them to a leave mate for XP. The Diadem is the better option by miles, as it doesn't require you to keep up with gear and it requires nothing more than having unlocked the Firmament in Ishgard. The Diadem can be accessed from an NPC in the Firmament as early as level 10 on a gathering job, and it just requires you going around the zone, gathering nodes or fishing in the ponds. You will gather level appropriate materials and XP and level quite quickly at that. You just have to make sure you've unlocked the Firmament in Ishgard first, which does require you finishing Heaven's Ward. Once you hit level 60, you'll need to grab some level 60 appropriate gear to begin with, as we'll be using the leave quests and collectibles, specifically the leave quests from Stormblood, so you'll be using the leave quests found in Kugane. To unlock the leave quests in Kugane, you'll need to be level 60, as well as completing the MSQ quest, the Far Edge of Fate. Grab the leave quests for your level and crack on with them. 
Secondly, you'll also be gathering collectibles. Players can unlock collectibles as a system by completing the level 50 quest Inscrutable Tastes. You can start this by talking to Morgana in the Foundation at Ishgard. Collectibles are materials gathered randomly while out gathering normal items when you have the collectibles buff on. I will also link the FF14 wiki below so you can see where this questline goes overall and so you can expand the system in your own time. But for now we just really need the ability to hand in collectibles. Collectibles can't be sold on the market board or sold to vendors, instead they are given to a collectible appraiser who can be found in every major city. Handing in these items gives you XP and scripts. We want the XP most, however scripts can be exchanged for gear. You will want this gear as we go along as it's much cheaper than buying it and it's always a high item level. The collectibles themselves will have a small box notification on them to let you know they are collectibles. It can be a random catch when fishing and with miner and botanist it'll be a choice to aim for when choosing what to gather from nodes. And where fishing collectibles are a case of random catch, botany and mining will have a separate UI for gathering these rewards. You'll have unique skills with the sole purpose of gathering collectibles. Some cost GP, others do not and they have various effects which impact your integrity and collectability of said collectible. You'll be doing lead quests from level 60 to 70 and also handing in collectibles you find and use the scripts to buy gear from the appraisers, especially when you hit level 70. 70 to 80 is no different, you'll head to the Crystarium once you've reached level 70 and completed the MSQ quest Travellers of Nordrant. There you will speak to Erika and accept and complete Leaves of the Crystarium. While at the Crystarium we will also unlock the Facet quests. You will have had to complete the Inscrutable Taste quest we did earlier to unlock collectibles to do this quest. You are going to talk to the NPC Catalyst in the Crystarium and accept the quest, the Crystalline Mean. The facet quests are similar to class quests and they give loads of XP and some scripts so be sure to complete them, as well as do some leaves and more collectibles in between. The next and final milestone as of this video is 80 to 90 and is no different than 70 to 80. Your first step will be to complete the MSQ quest Old Charlian New You. From there we'll head to Old Charlian and at Scholar's Harbour we'll talk to Griga and accept leaves of Old Charlian and complete it. Next we'll pick up the Studium quests which will require you to have completed the MSQ quest Sound the Bell, Schools In, which is a level 82 quest, and also Inscrutable Tastes, which you should have done by this stage. So head over to Searcher's Meet in Old Sherilyn and speak to... I... I can't pronounce this one either. Look, I'm not very good when it comes to pronouncing the names in Final Fantasy XIV, so let's just call them Ali. Speak to Ali to accept the faculty quest line. This can be grabbed at level 80, but you need to have finished the level 82 MSQ quest. The studium quests are the same as the facet quests from the Crystarium, so basically class quests to a degree. So same as before, complete them for XP and scripts, do that with leave quests and collectibles. It won't take much time to hit level 90, and that's basically it. This works for all the gathering jobs, however, as I stated at the beginning, there is another faster method for the fisher job, and it's ocean fishing. Ocean fishing is specifically for fishers, if that didn't seem obvious enough. This activity can only be accessed for 15 minutes every 2 hours in real time. You don't need any gear to ocean fish, but it can be useful at level 80 to get better gear when going for achievements and certain fish. How it works is that players register for a voyage that is basically a dungeon for fishing. You sail on a boat and catch as many fish as possible to gain points. During the event there can be bonuses for catching certain fish or getting certain amounts of fish as well as catching fish from certain currents. You then obtain experience points and scripts at the end of the voyage alongside a total score. Now to unlock ocean fishing you'll need a level 1 fisher and completed the quest My First Fishing Rod. From there complete the quest All the Fish in the Sea which can be gotten from the NPC Phil Snow in Limsalo Menzalore Dex and that's that. Hopefully you have a better grasp of levelling your gatherers and I didn't ramble off into too much or too little detail. As I said earlier I'll link the collectibles wiki below and I'll also add the ocean fishing wiki in case you want to learn about rewards and achievements from it in more detail as well as adding my blue quest video for later enjoyment. Like the video if it was useful to you and if you have anything to add or any comments or maybe you want to correct me on something or have a better way to do things then comment below and let me know, it's all fair game. I do have more Final Fantasy XIV guides on the channel so go watch those for other handy tips and consider subscribing to know when new content comes out. Also if you miss my grating startling Irish accent you can catch me screaming over on Twitch, link in the description. 
Okay, I'm done. Time to enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Keep being awesome, guys. I have some celebrating to do.